Hi, Mark Jager here, jagerphoto.com. Today's two-part video will deal with the Profoto B1 strobe. It's a great unit. The first part of the video will involve how do you use all of the commands and settings on the back of the strobe unit itself. The second part of the video will involve adding the air remote. We'll deal with all the functions you can engage through the air remote and then we'll also deal with high-speed sync, TTL, and burst mode operations. At the end of the video you should know the B1 pretty much through and through. I hope you enjoy the video. I enjoyed making it. Before we get into the actual video I'd like to request that you subscribe to my channel Notice down on the uh, lower right hand corner of the frame there's a subscribe to button. Just hit it and you can take care of the rest. If you do have comments or questions, leave them below. And particularly for questions, I'll get back to you. Here is a standard Profoto B1 kit. When you open the kit, you will find that it has a charger, a charger cable. Those are these two items. It will have a battery. Uh, I seriously advise buying a second battery. That's what this is. The unit itself uh, comes with a protective cover over the lens and the standard 5 8 inch shaft connector for your tripods. Right now the battery is in place to remove it. There's a button on the bottom. You depress the button and lever it out and that just snaps back in place. Inside the uh, battery space Right here is a micro USB that uh, would be used for updating the firmware in the unit. Just take the battery, snap it in place, and place it on your tripod. And at that point, you're ready to begin powering the unit up. I've zoomed in a little bit to make this easier to see. To power the unit up, here's the test button. Depress it and hold it, and the unit will uh, power up and remain at the settings that you had the last time it was powered up. You can see currently we're at power level 7. We have the uh, ready indication is a beep, and we're on channel 3, group A. And right now the modeling light is off, but if I turn it on, you can see it is set to free and 100%. The other function for the test light is to test fire the uh, unit. If you give it a quick push, it will test fire. If you give it a long push, it thinks you want to shut it off. When you are making power changes on the strobe, there are two modes for the button. This central button controls the power. If you simply rotate it, the power level increments and decrements in one-tenth stop units. If you press the button in and rotate it, you can see it changes in whole stop units. It should be obvious, but I didn't mention it before. This indicator is uh, informing you of the charge status. Right now we have approximately two-thirds of the battery charge remaining. The Profoto B1 has two flash modes, normal and freeze. At high power levels, like level 10, the flash duration is about one one thousandth of a second. At level two, in freeze mode, the flash duration is about one twenty thousandth of a second. 
and in normal mode about one ten thousandth of a second. These the changes can be helpful for freezing some subjects. Right now with no indication right up here in this bar the flash is in normal mode. If you press the power level setting and press the test button quickly you get an indication now that says freeze and you're good to go in freeze mode. When you change power settings on the unit, it's a good idea, particularly when you're going from a higher setting to a lower, to go ahead and dump the charge and let the unit recharge at the chosen power level. This means that there won't be any excess charge that could be there from the previous setting it will recharge accurately to the chosen level. Right now the unit is free and at 100 percent if you turn on the uh, or see my hands so you can see the modeling light a little easier you can see as I change the power levels the amount of the modeling light is not changed it remains at 100 percent if you wanted to change the modeling light uh, in free mode, you can see it's getting gradually more dim as we go down on the power. And it will go through anywhere from 5 to 100%. Now, if we press the button again, you can see now it's set to proportional and the 5 matches the power level. So as the power level goes up, there's 6, 7, 8, you can see the lights getting brighter and brighter. The indications here in the ready block, you can hear that after I discharge the unit, there's a beep says you're ready to go again. The other option is to have it dim and beep. This is with the modeling light on and if I discharge this you can see the modeling light uh, uh, dim and then restore itself. Sync, the sync indicator has three modes for three different functions. In the present display, we're communicating with the air remote and we are communicating on channel 3 and this strobe is part of group C. If you want to change that, you can press the button until it starts blinking, rotate the dial and you can see we're going A, B, E, F, A, B, etc. If you press the button in, press the button in, you can see we're changing the channel. Then it'll stop blinking in a moment. If you do not wish to use the air remote, you can press the sync button a long push and you will go to slave mode. In that mode, the infrared sensor on the B1 strobe will sense a flash from another unit and will flash with that other unit. If you press the button again, then the sync mode shows no indication. At that point, the cable connection on the bottom of the unit uh, becomes the mode of synchronization and that cable does connect right here. The battery has a check status light on it. If you depress this check button you can see that LED elements will illuminate indicating a charge status from one to four LEDs illuminated. When you connect 
the battery to the charger. There's no indication on the battery that it's charging, but you do have an indication here that the battery is charging as the LEDs on the charger strobe. When the battery is fully charged, the uh, LEDs will go solid, all four of them, and that's your indication that the battery is ready to go. That's the end of part one. We've basically uh, gone over all the commands and options that you have on the Profoto B1 directly. For part two, click the link that shows on the screen or terminate this video, go back out to YouTube and you should be able to see part two in the column to the right of the screen. This is the end of part one. At this point, you should know the Profoto B1 pretty much through and through. You probably noticed that there was some green screen work uh, ongoing. The photos that you saw uh, superimposed over the video are from iMarkProductions.com. iMark Productions does wildlife and landscape photography, but we also do custom vehicle uh, shoots. If you have a car, motorcycle, or airplane that uh, you want a custom uh, photograph of, give us a contact through iMarkProductions.com. JaegerPhoto.com is your source for headshot and portrait photography in eastern Washington. If you can't come to us, we can come to you.